Good evening, guys. Good evening. Good evening. One second. Hello, hello. Good evening, guys. Uh, can you hear me? Good evening. Yes, teacher. Hi. Okay, amazing. So, good evening, guys. I'm sorry for the delay. Uh, just estoy viendo super fuerte que it's raining like cats and dogs. And uh, I was trying to, you know, look for a, another place. But, guys, I'm super happy to see you. Welcome to Intermediate Number 3. I see, like, new faces, which is super super great thank you guys for opening up your cameras thank you for activating them uh, arnoldo great to see you helen good evening delby hello hi andrea hello, how teacher. you doing hello teacher. good evening guys no i mean welcome Miss. hello adolfo thank you for joining hi christian good evening how you doing how is your monday going guys is your week okay? Is your week all right? Let me just... Uh, so far, so good. So far, so good. Okay, Gabby, great to see you and great to hear you as well. Well, guys, uh, I'm super happy to see you. I hope you have a very nice week. Um, give me one second for some reason. My lightning is not the best right now, so hold on. Let me fix that. Let me just get going there. Okay. Okay, guys. So we're going to get started with intermediate number three tonight. Sé que en algunas zonas de San Salvador está lloviendo super fuerte. It's raining like cats, dogs, like super, super heavily. But espero que nos acompañen el resto de compañeros in a couple of minutes. Um, well, let me see. I see that Margarita is joining as well. Well, guys, eh, solamente before getting started, les, les agradezco por activar la camarita. It's really nice to see you. And um, ya que son clases en línea, nuestra cámara es como el único medio que tenemos para saber si estamos, si están acá, you know, si tienen uh, rostro de, oh my God, what's going on? Me perdí, me fui a dormir, I'm falling asleep. So, you know, nos da un poquito de, 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 de idea, right? De qué es lo que está sucediendo. And, uh, well, well, most of the guys uh, ya eran parte del grupo. Pero veo un par de compañeros nuevos. So, guys, me gustaría saber. Um, so, ¿cómo les gusta que le llamen? Like, how you like to be called? So, I see Noemi there. I see Adolfo. I see Christian. Uh, so, guys, eh, ¿es el primer módulo que estudian con corporativo? ¿O eh, vienen de otros grupos? ¿O uh, tell me a little bit about you guys? Good evening. Um, Hi, my name is Naomi. <laughs> um, I am the, the first level in in Bless Corporativo. Oh, okay. And before I I studied in another company. Okay. But okay. I think. Okay, great. That's yeah. all right. So, how do you like to be called? Is Naomi okay for you? Yes. Yes, it's okay. Okay. Perfect. Great to hear that. Hi, Angelica. Good evening. Uh, Adolfo, what about you? Is this your first Hello. module or? Yeah. It, it, it's my first time here. Uh, hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, greeting from Nehapa. Ah, so you're from Nehapa. Okay. Okay. But that is not the, the Yucca City, right? No, you guys yeah. from Sacamil, I think. Or is it Nehapa? No, Camille is my Camille, right? Yeah. Camille. I don't know why I feel that it is Nehapa. Okay. Okay. So thank you. Hey. Adol yes. Hello. Nehapa is the city of Fireball. Oh, you're right. Fireball. Yes. The, I don't know Next how you call August. it. Yeah. It Next like August 31. Next month. 
like August. Oh, August. August, like Calaviusa, uh, something one. like that, right? I'm one not quite sure. Yeah. And the, I just remember the fire boys, but there is another thing they celebrate. Oh, that's right, that's right. So Adolfo, how do you like to be called? Adolfo, is that okay? Or Barrios, what do you prefer? Adolfo. Adolfo, Adolfo. okay, perfect. Uh, Christian, no sé si me logro escuchar, Christian. I don't know if you're there. Le veo el audio activado, but I'm not sure. Uh, Christian, no se escucha. Okay. Give me just a second. Eh, sí veo el audio de Christian activado, but Christian, we cannot hear you. So we cannot hear you. And we cannot see you. <laughs> so Christian, let me let us know, please. Uh, if you can listen to us. Uh, Judy, good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, so guys, uh, welcome. You know, espero que tengan una buena experiencia eh, con inglés corporativo, you know. Uh, these guys eh, han estado juntos por un par de meses, but son super geniales. They are like super cool, super nice. Uh, they like to participate a lot. So espero que se sientan, you know, bienvenidos al team as well. Uh, Margarita, great to see you. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. It's so nice uh, to have you here. Hey, Christian, I see you now. Good evening. How you doing? Christian, usted me escucha? Okay, sí me escucha, pero nosotros no lo escuchamos. Uh, no sé si está en la laptop o es una desktop porque puede ser solamente la entrada del auxiliar del audio, right? So... Porque sí lo tiene activado, pero no hay audio. Ahora me escucha. Yes, yes, we can hear you now. Uh, lo desconectó. Uh, Did you unplug it? Sí, lo desconecté. Voy a ver cómo hago para hacerlo eh, funcionar. Su audio no tiene eh, un botoncito para apagarlo. Pero acá, en la parte de acá, de los controles, no tiene volumen. O... A veces los, los auriculares llevan como un botoncito acá atrás para encenderlo o apagarlo. So puede ser, you know, it has something. Hello. Hi. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yes, I can hear oh, you okay. now. Uh, si hay un poco de, de ruido, so yo creería que es el auxiliar, you know. So I think it's like the... Esa es la conexión que da un poco, eh, you know, not completely there. But, but yes, sí lo escuchamos. Now we can hear you. So thank you. Christian, ¿cómo prefiere que le llame? How, what do you like? Uh, what do you prefer? Christian Sunkwell. Oh, okay, great. Christian, is this your first time in inglés corporativo or uh, está cambiando de grupo? Are you changing groups? No, it's my first time. This yeah. is your first time. Okay. When was the last time you studied English? Uh, last year. Last year. Okay. No. Before the pandemic. Oh, like two years ago. Okay. Two years ago. Okay. No problem. That sounds good. And Noemi mentioned that you were studying in another place. When was that? This year? Last year? Or before the yeah. pandemic too? No, uh, the last December. The last oh, year. last December. Yeah. Perfect. So that has been six months. Okay. And Adolfo, what about you? Uh, when was the last time you studied English? Oh, who's gone? Uh, Adolfo, when was the last time you studied English? You're mute, you're mute. So your audio is mute. It's in silencio. So you're mute. Uh, you're still mute. Wait, <laughs> let me help you. Uh, give it a, yes, there you go, there you go. Okay. Okay. I can see my display. Are you in the computer? 
Yeah. And my laptop. Um, well, si está teniendo dificultades con, con uh, the computer, también se puede conectar. You can also uh, connect, you know, uh, in el teléfono y es bastante práctica, digamos. It's like super practical. Uh, es bastante fácil de manejar as well. So, okay. in, in caso your computer is giving you some trouble, eh, podemos hacer eso too. Un segundo. Okay. Eh, it's raining like super, super heavily here. So, let me just... Eh, let me just... Uh, get my... My cell phone on it because I want to, you know, uh, get the best of it, get the best of the audio I can. All right, uh, Mr. Luna, good evening. Thank you for joining, Mr. Luna. How you doing? Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing nice. great. What about yourself? Great. Everything okay? Yes. Yeah, relax. Uh, uh, just arriving to arriving to my home from my workplace. <laughs> oh, very okay. Yes. Sounds really good. Yes, yes. Uh, so. <laughs> What do you prefer? Uh, do you like to be called uh, Daniel, Antonio, which, um, uh, or do you have uh, a nickname yeah. or something? No, Daniel, it's okay. Daniel, it's okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. So it's super great to have you. Carlos, good evening too. Uh, my name is Julia Hello, good evening. Hi, good evening. Thank you for joining. I saw your message a couple of minutes ago, but espero que haya llegado a su casa. I hope you're home already. Um, hope you're fine. And uh, guys, hay un grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, creo que algunos todavía no se han agregado. And uh, revisamos el correo electrónico that you got, right? And en el correo este link para que ustedes se puedan auto agregar. Let's call it that way. So, uh, solamente le dan como tap, right? Y automáticamente los está agregando al grupo. And uh, porque a veces de administración tienen como información. Uh, que necesitan de ustedes, o recordatorios, or something like that. Um, vamos a ver, you know, un, al final de la clase, un par de eh, cositas con el uso de la plataforma. General thingies and uh, a couple of general guidelines or instructions that we have. Eh, but guys, eh, lo voy a mover hasta el final de la clase because I want to get started right away with today's class. Para algunos probably no han estudiado inglés por una semana and I'm sure los libros los tienen debajo de la cama or something. Pero para otros probably ha sido un poco más de tiempo. So guys, let's see how we do with that. Let's see if we remember a couple of things. Uh, so vamos a tomar un par de minutos para hacer un pequeño uh, refresh, right? A little recap uh, of some vocabulary, some general things. And I want to get started, guys, with a debate. All right. So, veamos si nos acordamos un poquito. Let's see if we remember some vocabulary, some expressions, how to say a couple of things. And uh, so, guys, I have these two statements. Um, so, we can have a little debate on that one. Uh, so, Helen's joining. Okay. Guys, I have this first statement. It says, being really tall is better than being really short. What do you think about this? Do you agree? Are you tall? Are you short? Uh, are you average height? So what are your thoughts? What, are, what is your point of view of this one, guys? Being really tall is better than being really short. Do you agree? Do you disagree? And why? You can open your microphone, guys. Feel free to open. Feel free to give ideas, to express opinions. Si no saben cómo decirlo, it's okay. Les ayudamos, you know. So everybody will help. That is totally fine. I, I yes. don't agree. I don't you agree. You don't agree. Oh, my yeah. God. Why? It's better uh, being short sure. with average Oh, average height. Okay, that's a good point. So you don't agree with this. Okay, but why? Uh, really tall. Uh -huh. uh, 
have some problems. Uh -huh. For example, Same. Mm. Um, for example, um, uh -huh. so <laughs> I don't, know. don't worry, no, 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 don't worry, you're fine, you're fine. Think about it, think about it. When you get the idea, you're good. So Christian says that he does not agree, that he thinks that average height is better. So you have tall, short, like me, and average, right? So tall, average, and short. Uh, guys, what do you think? For example, in my case, I want to be tall. Uh, what do you think, guys? I think I heard Angelica. Yes, I... In my in my case, I am a, per, a person tall, but uh, sometimes uh, the things are designed for the short people. No mirrors. <laughs> oh, mirrors! Are you serious? Do you have problems with mirrors sometimes? Uh, usually, uh -huh. uh, uh, things are not designed for sorry for uh, people or little people ah okay like for average Usually. people okay okay uh just angelica no worries go ahead oh uh i'm telling you the when you sit in a bus your knees is uh tú no cabes in, in the, ah in the, they don't fit they, they don't fit okay right? You have to see it like uh, I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you can see it in anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you don't fit anywhere. That is right. Well, I am super short, so the opposite yeah. happens to me because my legs are super short, so my legs are hanging. <laughs> <laughs> so in the bus, my legs are hanging. <laughs> okay, but you got a point. Yes, but I really, I I like to be a, a tall. I mean, yes, of course. <laughs> I want to be tall. Guys, what do you think? Uh, so, so, in yeah. my case, totally I agree with you. Are you um, short? Yes. What's your I... height, Andrea? Andrea, you look tall. No, me. What's your height? One that 55. Oh, but you're taller than me. <laughs> I am 152. <laughs> so we are short. Yes. Okay. So what is your what is the, the situation that is when, the most common for you? For instance, when I was oh, when I like I go, that word. Uh-huh. When I I I go right, uh -huh. I I don't alcanzo alcanzar. I don't reach. Uh -huh. I don't read the floor when I was when I go at the motorcycle. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So when you are in the motorcycle, you don't reach the floor. I have yes. a question for you. Um, what do you do in that case? Um, I do you wear high heels? No. Uh -huh. I don't like it. I prefer okay. tennis, and I, I, I don't know. I, me hago like, así para un lado, más para un lado. <laughs> okay, uh -huh, so you uh -huh, bend, no, or, or uh -huh. with the tip tops. Okay, with the tip tops. Mm -hmm. Oh, because you know, from the motorcycle guys, me caí muchas veces because no lograba alcanzar el suelo. I agree with you. Okay. So, okay, that is a good point. So when you are short, no alcanza las piernas, you know, your legs are too short. Okay, guys, what about the rest? What do you think? Because hitting the camera, to be honest, no sabemos si son altos, guys. We got no idea if you're tall, if you're short. So tell us, what, uh, what's your height? What are What is your, your opinion on this? In my case, teacher, um, I, I, I am a little, a little tall, one, uh -oh. one point seventy two. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, I, I think is, is um, all, 
all sides uh, how an advantage and disadvantage. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, right. The, the advantage, the advantage of the disadvantage of uh -huh. really tall is in the in the in the public tra transportation. Oh, you 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 is if you if you if you are really tall, uh -huh. you can he he he's this. Did you hit this. the you hit kind yeah. of the 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 roof, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The roof. Okay. And if you are if you are really tall, don't you can jump to hold hold on. <laughs> Yeah, that happens to me, you know. Uh, so normally in buses, la, como las barras, the iron bars, they are yes, too uh, high. Too high. <laughs> so uh, I was not able to reach them. Reach them is like alcanzar, right? I couldn't yeah. reach them. So literally, I had to but, hang from them. So like but, hanging, like colgada, right? So you had to <laughs> hang from them. But, but uh -huh. the new, but the new, the new buses have a, a port. Have a port. Oh, really? The new, the new, the new buses. Yes. Here the in new, El Salvador. Yeah. Um, oh. In the, um, the, I'll say in the ruta, the ruta Ochoa. In the route. Like okay. The, in the route, the route A. 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 Oh. A, A. A. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. They have, they have port. Like some in the, in, in, in the, in the route, hunger and port. In full, oh. in vertical, in vertical position. In every seat. In no every seat, every two, three seat. Oh, that's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah oh. it's nice. <laughs> wow. It's, it's new, it's new buses. Uh -huh. it's not, exactly, uh, but the, the, the most, uh, la mayoría son is all buses. <laughs> yes, like yeah, yeah. most most buses, I are still old, are and the and the iron bars they are super high. So yeah, oh, but yeah. that is good. That is really good. Good for yeah. us. <laughs> the short <laughs> ones. Okay. okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, guys. What about the rest of you? Uh, I guess everybody has had experiences being tall, being short. Tell us, ¿qué les ha pasado, guys? What has happened to you? Okay, now, can you hear? Yes. Can you hear I, me? Yes, I can okay. hear you now. I, I think uh, that I am a normal person about... So average. Uh, normal, standard from so what's, the... What's your people. height? Yeah. What, what is your height? Um, What's your height? About, about 170 centimeters. 170? Yeah, 170. Oh, 170. And Daniel yeah. was 172, he says. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, Angelica, you are 180, right? 80. 180. Yes, I remember. Okay. Yeah, she's super tall. Okay. Nice. So normally, uh, so for a la estatura media, we yeah. we can use the word average, right? So average is como media. Average mm -hmm. height in this case. Um, mm -hmm. so it sounds uh, better, right? So your average uh, height. Oh, okay. Very nice. So no, no issues, nunca tenido problema. You have never had like any difficulty, any problem? No, Adolfo, not really. Not really. Okay, tell me, what about you guys? Uh, Margarita, Noemi, Gabby, um, Arnoldo, tell us about you guys. Um, in my case, I am shorter than my family. Oh. Um, okay. My brothers are so tall, okay. and they um, always um, um, tell me that I am short, and I, I am really, I, I, um, I don't like to be short. Okay, I am short than my brothers. <laughs> oh, okay, but when you say you are shorter. Uh, what's your height? One meter and fifty-two 
Santana. Oh, like me. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> so we are short. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, same really, here. Really, I think this camera is high, but my brothers are so tall. Oh. All, all my brothers, yes. Like 180, 190? Yes. Oh, so they are okay. tall. Yes, two meters and two centimeters. Two meters tall. Yes. <laughs> wow, your brothers are so tall. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Do, do they have like any difficulty? Two meters. Wow, that's very, very tall. So, Anthony, yes, it's nice to put down like, I don't know, looking for clothes. In my case, no, really. <laughs> Okay. No, no, really. What about my, your my mom is short too. Oh, your my mom, mom is short. My father is short too, but I think they are they are tall for my for my your dad. Parents, my parents, my grandpa. Oh, your grandpa was tall. Yeah. Yes. Oh, oh, wow! But that's amazing. My grandparents were tall. But I'm super sure, you know. <laughs> so I didn't get anything from my family. Wow, okay. So that is really interesting. Guys, ¿quiénes son los más altos? Who are the tallest here? Tell me, what's your height? 150, uh, 160? 149. Oh, 149. Okay. Uh -huh. No, don't worry. So we are very alike. <laughs> okay, Miss. But do you have any any difficulty with clothes? Mm. No. Not really. I no. Uh, only I can reach the things that are high in the supermarket. Oh, that's right. <laughs> okay, that's right. Do you jump? Kinda. <laughs> in, in ocasiones. Sometimes, sometimes you need to jump. Okay. You know, the biggest uh, problem that I think uh, tall people have is with clothes que los pantalones son muy cortos, like jeans or pants are too short, I think. Yeah. Or in our cases, que somos bien cortas, yeah. somos bien pequeñas, right? Uh, so hay que doblarle es un gran pedazo, so we have to cut a part of the, of the yeah. hem, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah. Angelica? Just have to cut it, but when that doesn't fit, all the, the pants, I well, when I have to buy a new jeans, uh -huh. and it's more like a, a Capri thing. <laughs> a little problem with the watch. So, all of them yeah. look like Capri. <laughs> yes. Uh, but if you wear boots, uh, that, that wouldn't be a problem, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but I don't like them. Shoes, uh, oh. too, when uh, the the woman size is not too um variedad. Uh -huh. the size, the, the the shoes uh I always uh, looking for uh number ten but and oh. the size for women's are like nine the most of, of uh, the so that is the, the largest the biggest the you largest, can get yes. oh yes uh, well yes i agree on that that is a disadvantage but in my yes. case for example in shoes it is a disadvantage too uh porque i think that my shoe size is so common que se agota, you know <laughs> it is sold out it's uh, super fast so yeah, there are advantages and disadvantages. Guys, let's go with the second one. Hey guys, I want to listen to the rest too. Uh, the second one, I think it's quite interesting. It says life is easy when you are beautiful. What do you think? Do you agree on that? Do you think it's a reality or not? 
Um, yes, I know. <laughs> yes, I know. Okay, Gabby, how so? Uh, because I think in girls is like more uh it's like um un stereotype, a stereotype that if you are beautiful uh you are dumb so uh, that does that is not uh, actually and I think it's not true because oh. every girl is intelligent in that in a certain way probably okay. in artists or probably they like studies etc but in guys i think yeah probably could be easier because uh, like everyone is like trying to um agradar less oh i don't think that oh mm -hmm. so in girls it is not like a positive yeah. thing but in boys no. it is yeah probably oh. I, i think I, i don't know any uh like beautiful like guy that i could say uh -huh. or that i could talk about mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, th that's very interesting because I had the, I don't know, guys, what can you tell us? Uh, do you agree I with Gabby? Do you disagree? I disagree. Why? Life is hard for everyone. Oh. I think. Why? <laughs> okay. Because this is like, as Gabby said, a stereotype we have always had if you are handsome or if you are beautiful or physically attractive you have i don't know more opportunities or i don't know what do you think mm, maybe sometimes but not all time oh okay uh any example that comes to your mind i think the opportunity is for smart people Oh, okay. Well, we, I, I think It's we can opinion. have a. I think we can have a, a discussion on smart and beauty. <laughs> okay, no, but that is okay, guys. That is actually the idea to give your opinion, use your English, you know, try to put it into words. So that is okay. Uh, anybody else, guys? Margarita, tell us. Uh, Kenya, Judy, hello, Helen. Hello, hello, Carlos. Tell us, guys, what do you think? Adri Andrea, what do you think? I think it, it's the same in the both cases, mm -hmm. but in the world, always exceeds bad people. Oh, okay. But when you I say think. bad people, you mean uh, people that who take advantage? Um, and yes. Uh, Uh, people envious of oh okay mm -hmm. okay so life is easy when you're beautiful so um if you're handsome if you're attractive life is not easy or it's exactly the same I'm for everybody sure. yeah no 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 i mean what, what what do you think guys is it the same for everybody um it's not necessary because uh, everyone have a uh, um, behavior for example for example mm -hmm. um the physical is not the most important uh, in the life in the life Oh. Um, because uh, we have uh, we make relation with person uh -huh. different uh, town for example uh -huh. and it's not it's not the it's, it's not a basic real rules for to measure the the success and, and the life that is a very nice point so beauty doesn't determine success you mentioned success. so uh what is necessary guys then if it is not beauty uh what is necessary to be successful to be smart to be smart okay anything else say the opportunities take opportunities okay So not physically, you know, not like attractiveness, but being intelligent, being smart. It's necessary. it's necessary a mix, uh, 
a mix uh, with handsome, for example, but oh. you have to you have to need a smart, sociable. Uh, oh. I don't know. So like a combination of everything, yeah. a mix of a everything. Oh, of everything. okay. But you mentioned that you have to be in, you know, beautiful in a way. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Guys, that was a very nice uh, debate actually, because I had the chance to listen to your English, you know, like not just in the hello, how are you, my name is. <laughs> But just like English in context, that was really good. That was really nice. Uh, guys, thank you so much for giving your, your opinion. Iris, good evening. Great to see you. That was like super good cool evening. to listen to the way you express your ideas. Now, um, part of the of the, the module actually in intermediate is actually that, right? Um, so la idea no es si estoy correcto o my idea is correct or it is not correct, sino la idea es expresar lo que quiero decir como si estuviera hablando español, right? So you did it perfectly. Very good job. Um, this module in Intermediate 3, vamos a tener mucha práctica de este tipo, you know, because that is the idea, que no le escriba, que ya no necesito... Um, memorizarme un texto para dar mi opinión, but I can simply try to give my opinion out of any topic. Obviously, vamos a trabajar bastante con vocabulary. Um, vamos a implementar un poquito de uh, listening comprehension to fuera de plataforma, so we can develop a more listening practice. Um, today, uh, no sé si ya vieron el material. Uh, By the way, todos tienen acceso a la plataforma. Eh, los chicos que se nos unen al grupo, no sé si ya revisaron parte de los links que les enviaron en el correo, si pudieron accesar a la plataforma, si la revisaron un poquito, pudieron entrar. Christian, Daniel, Noemi, yes, no, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Super, super. All right. So, uh, parte de, de los elementos que tiene la plataforma es de hecho el material que corresponde a Intermediate Number 3. And lo pueden encontrar exactamente ahí. Les muestro rapidito where you can find it para que lo podamos, nos podamos ir dirigiendo. So, uh, your module normally incluye eh, la grabación de las clases, right? Todas las clases son grabadas y si llegan a perder en algún momento una de las clases, pueden regresar acá en cursos y pueden revisar la clase anterior. Después del curso van a encontrar tareas. Ya les voy a mostrar cómo vamos a ver el seguimiento too. But un elemento importante es Students Manual Intermediate Number 3. Si están en la plataforma, nos vamos acá. So you can go to this um, link right here to this tab and um, ahorita está cargando but les va a mostrar el material que vamos a utilizar. So this material eh, no es necesario que lo impriman but I suggest que si lo tengan a la mano you know porque a veces from the computer eh, no es tan fácil manipularlo como si ustedes lo tienen eh, in your cell phone or the, in your computer there. Lo pueden descargar definitivamente so you can click over here y para poder tenerlo eh, directamente in your uh, computer. So here, encontramos parte de lo que vamos a estar revisando durante this module, uh, que incluye um, the four units that are the product life cycle, marketing, branding, loyalty. Los temas están relacionados con inglés por, por el trabajo, but of course, le ponemos siempre un poquito de everyday life situation, Especialmente en estos niveles que son más de eh, speaking um, and vocabulary development, right? Um, en la número uno, en la unidad que vamos a trabajar durante esta semana, vamos a trabajar con stages of product life cycle, make suggestion, how to deal with market saturation, identifying the reasons eh, for a decline of a product, And también tenemos un poquito de vocabulario como demand, global competition, co-branding, things like those. Y ustedes pueden revisar detenidamente in the material qué es lo que se va a cubrir con respecto a grammar, eh, reading, writing, etc. 
Uh, for example, en este módulo o en this unit, cubrimos la parte de would rather, um, un poquito de quantifiers, countable and countable, etc. And guys, para que podamos iniciar un poquito con this unit, um, we are going to get started with something very important, that is products. And to start with this, um, guys, yo me emociono bastante when I'm talking, so please, si voy muy rápido, if I'm going too fast, let me know. Si sienten que voy, you know, como una matraca, please tell me, because I get super excited speaking. So, uh, to get started, guys, I have here some Salvadorian products that I'm super sure you may remember. Um, so, we have, for example, the floppy disk. We have gloopies, guys. I don't know if you remember gloopies. Uh, we have the cassette, I think it was called. I don't know if you remember those. Uh, we have the fruitsy chickies. I think they exist. I'm not sure. Maybe you can tell us more info on that. Um, we have here the, the famous disquette, right? That um, I have not seen a disquette in a long time. Uh, the famous blackberries, the, probably you have one of these elephants, like the first elephants we had. The Vico uh, flip flops. <laughs> I don't know if you ever word any of these. I think they exist, but they are not that common. Um, oh, and I'm sorry, I forgot the first. That was the black and white TV. Uh, I don't know, guys. Do you have any of these? So we can call it a vintage uh, television, right? Do you have any of these guys? Do you Vintage. have a disket? Uh huh. A black and white TV. I, I have a collection of cassette recorders. Wow. Uh, by, by, by the radio. No, wow. <laughs> when, but when, where do you when, play them? Yeah, I, ha I have a, a, a cassette a, reader. A cassette reader, yes. I have a oh. workman. I have a workman, yes. No. It's a little, it's a little you workman. Got a workman? Yeah. He used with you and uh, he, he used two batteries and you help him. Wow, and, and, they are and, I, and I play I play the cassette. <laughs> Super nice. I thought yes. they had disappeared. So guys, the the thing is this one, it says, What do you remember about these products? Um they were super famous back in the days. But why were they famous? What do you remember about them? I love Fruitsy. I had to be super honest with you. <laughs> I really loved Fruits. I feel the topic like an attack to my age. <laughs> Arnoldo, come on. Do you remember all of those? <laughs> Guys, eh, well, Enrique is not here. Um, ¿Quién es el nuevo baby del grupo? I think Gabby is, right? Gabby, are you in your 20s, early 20s? Yeah, 24. Okay, so early 20s. Uh, Christian, you look young. Are you in the 20s or 30s? <laughs> uh, I'm 40. Uh, oh yeah. my God, you don't look your age. You look younger, way younger. Chris, que genial. So, no, no, no aparenta. <laughs> So you're oh, okay. definitely younger. Okay. So I think Gary is the, the baby, right? Of the group. Uh, Carlos, Iris. Yes. Uh, yeah, I guess the rest of us are in the 20s or 30s. Okay. So <laughs> I don't know why. 48. Oh, okay. No, but that's a very good age. Uh, Arnaldo, why? Remember forming figures with the glucose? Yes, tell me exactly. <laughs> exactly. So, especially when they pop, right? So, you stretch them so much that they ended up, you know, with uh, water everywhere. So, guys, we are going to talk about this, whatever you remembered about them. Eh, vamos a ir a los grupos. We'll go to the groups for a couple of minutes. Please share whatever you remember of them. Uh, si hay una palabra que no sabemos cómo decirla, please go to your dictionary quick. Let's investigate it. Um, y si alguien le cuesta, guys, si alguien no recuerda how to say something, ayúdense, help each other. That is the best way to learn English. 
So um, I'm going to invite you guys. Give me one moment. And um, one, two, there we go. So I'm going to ask you uh, to go to the groups. Um, les va a caer una, una eh, notificación, right? Eh, que les dice, los inglés corporativo los ha invitado a unirse, le damos clic y los va a enviar a otro grupo para que puedan, you know, participar. Es un grupo mucho más pequeño. Si están en el teléfono, dice unirse a la sala para grupos pequeños, le dan unirse y automáticamente los lleva. Cuando se termina el tiempo, eh, yo les voy a traer o les va a aparecer ahí que regresen. Uh, so guys, eh, unámonos a los grupos. Si alguien tiene dificultades, let me know para poder guiarle how to join the group, please. So, le pueden tomar captura. You can take a picture of this one and uh, para que la puedan compartir too in the groups. So, Iris, Carlos, eh, let me know, please, if you have difficulties. Kenya, tell me. Let me know, guys. Okay. Hey, hi, Arnoldo. Era para que nos dejara compartir, teacher. Oh, but uh, si les permite, right? Yeah, yes, but. Yeah, okay, perfect, perfect. There you go, no problem. Okay, in my family, in my uh, our first television uh, was a black and white TV. But to see the image in colors, we put a glass over un, 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 uh, para ver las cosas a colores. Poníamos un vidrio en frente a la televisión. Que tenía un vídeo de colores. Full color. ¿Eh? Full color glass. Un uh, color glass. Full yes, color we, glass. We put a color, a color glass y se miraba menos. O sea, menos raro de mirar. <laughs> yeah, you don't see black and, black and white image. <laughs> ok. It is, uh, it is a uh, beginning of the 80s. One, one, okay. And in the year 85, in the año 85, por ahí más o menos. <laughs> That's right. Okay. So I, uh, I am 44 years old and I remember all the things, all the things. Um, uh, black and white TV, group is a uh, kind of drink, right? Uh, cassette, Frozzi, um, CD player, uh, Blackberry cell phone, of course. I, <laughs> I have one, my second telephone, and I use uh, Balco sandals, right? When you, when you, ¿cómo, cómo se dice deslizar? ¿Cómo se, when you. Um, slide. Slide, 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 when you slide yeah. the, 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 the sandals. Uh, it, 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 it was, uh, it was so difficult to, to work with this sandal. Sí, sí, se subían hasta, la, hasta las rodillas, Nico. <laughs> yeah. Up to your <laughs> knees. <laughs> your knees. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Especially <laughs> when funny. it was rainy. Yeah, when it's raining, when it's raining, yes, in, uh, like like uh, this, like uh, this night. <laughs> in the in when the when 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 one proxy in one how is the 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 
the cookie uh, kitties. If it is cookie, you you have in the school you have the, your your how say your lunch. <laughs> Ahí, ahí, tení, ahí tenía la comida completa en, 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 la, en, en la escuela, <ríe> con el fruto y la galleta. <ríe> Tenías el lunch completo. El refrigerio de los recreos. Exactamente. <ríe> Exactamente. Well, in, in my case, it was more like a fruitsy. And one of these uh, cookies uh, with figures, you know, I don't remember how it was called. Oh, but the you, cookies you, have elephants, giraffes. You call, you, you call about the uh, zoological cookies. I about the branch needle. Yeah, yo las compro actualmente. Oh, do they exist? Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't know. Yes, cookies zoological, galletas zoological de la marca Lido. Okay. Yeah, so, so my mom used to buy like for season and uh, one of those cookies for me. So I think chickies are new. Uh, I don't know, guys. What, what did you have for your break? What did you eat? I cannot remember. I remember, I remember the... What? <laughs> I remember the, the cookies. Um, yeah, this, the cookies, cookies. Picnic cookies. Uh, picnic cookies. Cookie. Ah, yes, picnic okay. Cookie. From Diana, yeah, right? Picnic. From Diana, exactly. Mm -hmm. yes, Pozuelo. Ah, Pozuelo existed too. But they... Las, uh, yes? Las Lido. Pero las Lido, unas rellenas que habían. No sé si todavía ah, existen. Todavía existen. Todavía I existen. don't know. Because now there are like other kind of cookies. So it's a, uh -huh. con la galleta cremosa. Así se llama, cremosa y super cremosa. Mm, oh, <laughs> cremosa have, have like a feeling, right? Like a like a sweet feeling. Like, like a relleno, like feeling. some feeling. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Okay, the by uh, chocolate, chocolate and vainilla. Oh, in vainilla. In in the middle, in the middle of the cookie you have a, a relleno de leche. Like a, okay. una de milk. I, I think milk. it's like vanilla, I don't know, like a cream, right? Like a cream. Uh -huh. like a cream. Like it's cream. kind of like creamy. Cream. Okay. Guys, yes. what about the rest of you? What do you remember? So Helen, tell me, tell us. Iris, tell us. I feel that Iris oh, is... Yeah? Helen? All the pro teacher. Which ones? Um, from Blackberry. Oh, okay. Oh, all, 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 all the... yes. Ah, even that moment, train. In ese moment, que esa era como la the trend. The trend. Yes, <laughs> yes, the trend. Everybody wanted a BlackBerry. But talking about these uh, break times or the school breaks, um, do you remember if you had one of these, like a fruitsy, a chicky, or what was the one you normally had uh, during break, like a school breaks? Charamusca. <laughs> oh, really? Nice. <laughs> yeah, Charamusca, famosa. <laughs> No, I don't think so. No, Chocobanana, yeah, you can say Eskimo banana, but for Charamosca, that is super Salvadorian. Boilies. Ah, the frozen ah, the ones. <laughs> That's right. There was another one, Surf, I think it was called, like, or Tampico. Wait, I don't remember. Uh, the, the drink that came with a little straw. Do you remember? Um, the and it, the, 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 the lip pop, yes, the lip pop. <laughs> that was the one. Yes, the I, I never saw them. Did you see them again? Yes, yeah. hello. Se llamaba Roca Nieve. What was Roca Nieve? Oh. <laughs> Eran riquísimos. But what, what was that? Like a like a drink. Eran like parecidos a, a los bolis. Like oh. yes. So it was frozen. 
Era congelado, exacto. Oh, okay. Rotaneado. But they disappear, right? All of them disappeared. Now yeah. it's uh, another brand, mm -hmm. but another Roca brand. Nieve doesn't it exist. So, but an exist. another brand like for frozen products. Yes, oh. in the supermarket. I have not seen them. Are they good? Have you tasted them? No, never tasted. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, but we have a mission. We have a mission. Yes, please. Okay. When you have the chance, go taste them and tell us the review, you know. Homework okay. for tomorrow. Go and taste oh. those products. Okay. okay. Uh, well, if you have babies, probably you're more familiar, right? So, Margarita, do you have babies? I think you do. I remember you do. Yes, teacher. Okay. So, normally for a school, what do you give to your babies? For eh, example, eh, los fruxis. Okay. Do eh, you give to your babies? Galletas de wow. las uh -huh. chiquis a veces y a veces de las de esas de figuritas. De, oh. de, so they are de common. Animalitos, no sé cómo se llaman. I don't know, but I would say figure cookies. Mm. Uh -huh, so I don't know the name. Oh, but it is interesting that they still exist. All right. What about the rest of them, guys? What about the rest of the products? Me, I, I, was, I remember that Rootsy, we opened upside down, I yes. think. Mm. And, and it was uh, congelado for? Oh, it was frozen. Frozen. Oh, freeze. That is new for me. <laughs> I don't remember that. You know, um, I have had braces for a really long time. So I was never able to open the fruit seat at the at the bottom, right? So... Oh, but frozen fruitsies. Yes, that you is open. You, you open with the teeth, with the teeth. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, upside down uh, with the teeth. In, like the uh, bottom, right? The bottom like of a, the... Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. And oh. when, when the bottle is empty, mm -hmm. you, uh, the, the, a lot of people, a lot of children, Use the the bottle empty and put in the in the rear wheel of bicycle to to make a sound. That's right. That's that, oh, that's, that's right. You are right. La ponían en la parte de atrás de la llanta para hacer un ruido como que era 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 Guys, uh, as Arnoldo said, no sé si es por la generation or what's going on, <laughs> but ya no hay niños que hagan eso, so kids don't no, do that no. anymore. Oh, oh, all the kids uh, uh, stay in, the, in your computers, in your cell phones. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But you're right, you're right. So a, a lot of kids <laughs> in the street, they were like making sounds with the, with the plastic bottles. But yeah. that is that is yeah something I had for the garden. Oh, very very like good point in that. Yeah, kids don't do that. Um, so or guys, who has babies? Who has babies? Tell me, do you have kids? Yes, I have one boy. How old is your boy? Um, he is. 13 years old. Ah, okay. So he's more into cell phones. <laughs> um, does he ride a bicycle? I don't understand. A bicycle. Does he um, ride a bicycle? Yes, he, he can. Okay. Does, does he do... My, but, um, Aquí es muy pequeño, no puede. Oh, okay. The space is super small. But but your baby never did that? 
like putting a fruity or a bottle in the motor in the bicycle. So we ya no lo hizo. He didn't do that. No. Ah, okay. Se perdieron los valores, guys. <laughs> Yeah, with the next generation. Ah, I imagine Delmi's Delmi's boy was the the hope. <laughs> uh -huh, so probably they don't do that anymore. Okay, okay, guys. So finish discussing the rest. I'll see you in a couple of minutes. Uh, three. Gloopy was delicious. It was delicious, really. Like, uh, I, I like, like, like the fruit soup similar. The the funny was is when you can can use different figures with the with the bag. I think there was a difference. In the supermarket, still selling gloopy? No, bueno, I, I don't know because I was a child when when sell. No. Yes, in my case, yes, uh, I only buy both both in the in the tiendita. No, in the in the in the supermarket. No, no, really. Ah, only in the only store, in the the store. Fruits, yes. Fruitsy. The fruits, yes, in the supermarket. Nobody's the in the supermarket is a copy that fruitsy. Say fruitsy, but no it's really or really, yes. No, the original fruitsy. Mm, okay. <laughs> it's a, it's a, it's an apple. For my, in my case, I have a television similar. Mm, the television. No, I never saw that. Hi guys. So uh, I heard Judy, you mentioned the TV. Yes. Okay. Yes. I have. Yes. I had a TV. So do you have or do you still have? Do I have. I have. Best? No, I, I have. have. In this moment, my mom has a black and white television oh wow in this moment no oh you yes. have one i have a, a white i have, I have one have. of these tvs but, but do you still have it no. do i have them anymore I, yes i have my so mom has your, your mom, mom has, has one Oh yes, because oh, no. it's a it's a souvenir for my for my grandma. That is amazing. That's really good. But what about the channels? Yes. How, how do they get the channels? Only twelve. Only uh, two, four, six, and twelve and ten. Yes. Five, five channels. Only. <laughs> ah, okay. So exactly the same we had in the past. Yes. But 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 is it the same process? Because like a, I don't know how to say like a perilla for change <laughs> <Spanish. laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like that little thingy. Uh, I don't know what it would be. The I don't remember a word for that. But let me investigate. But you have to turn it. But I mean, 
normally with the black and white TVs, um, you need it like an antenna, right? So uh, yes. in, in the past, uh, you have one person taking the antenna out, moving the antenna, yeah. <laughs> and uh, so you could get the channels. Is it the yes. same? It's the same. Really. Oh, okay. In, in your case, we have the, the antenna uh, statics in, in a place that the signal is really connecting. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. Yes. Wow, yeah. but that's really, really interesting. Because now with Netflix and all these new ways to get, you know, like smart TVs and all of that, so... Vintage TVs, they disappeared. Wow, yeah. super cool. Um, Gabby, did you ever have, or did you ever, I don't know, use one of these TVs? Um, yeah, I think I used to play with them when I was a child, like three years old, I think, but I don't know how they work. No. <laughs> Okay, guys, can you please uh, explain to Gabby what the process is? <laughs> How to use one of these TVs? Anybody, guys? Okay. They I'm don't so use I can remote control. Well, because it's raining here. Oh, no worries, no worries. The thing is that Gabby is like the youngest in the group. Uh, she's the baby. I'm just kidding, Gabby. <laughs> no, the thing is that um, she says that she doesn't remember um, or she doesn't really know um, how to use one of these black and white TVs. So, can you explain to her? What is the process for that? How do you use a uh, black and white TV? How do you get the channels? How do you change channels and all of that? Uh, it's only turn on the, the, I don't know how they say perilla really, <laughs> but um, only turn on for the right and change and to change the channel, but only have five channels. Not have a more, more channels, really. And have a button for turn on and turn off. Mm -hmm. yes. Really, it's a basic, basic use, but my mom like use I use it uh, for see the the Mexican the Mexican movies. Ah, okay. Yes. Is it like any kind of DVD uh, DVD player or anything else? I don't think. Yes, so. we have. Can Can you? Yes. Really, we have. <laughs> In our home, we have um, um, like uh, five television and, and, and the black and white television. Oh, but I didn't know that you could plug uh, like a DVD or something. DVD? Yeah. No, DVD, Not right. no, really no. I don't, uh, yeah, I don't think so. I don't mm -hmm. think they were ready for that. Um, we will never, never use the DVD with this television. No, really. Guys, I'm going to investigate how to say that video because I cannot find it. Uh, I just find out, but I don't think that's the correct word. So let me, let me, I'm going to investigate that word for you. Uh, but yeah, I don't think you could plug any of those. Um, guys, do you remember it, Angelica? Excuse me? Sorry. No, no worries. Uh, so do you remember if you could plug like DVDs or something? Um, 
for the TV, color TV, they have a, a tree, uh, yes, like a coaxial. Uh, okay. So they put the coaxial cable and take an, an it was like a, a, how to say it, como un transformador, but you have to put it like a three or four cable to, to use another, another, eh, it was a VHS. You have to put, you can put it a VHS eh, conectado al televisor, but oh. I don't remember. You're right because there were no DVDs, right? You can you can use with the, that kind of television. That, that's a very good point. Okay, so and guys, was, they have uh, this. Uh, Hello. Hi, Carlos. In fact, the first of all this uh, of all those was the Betamax. 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 Yeah, right. before the DVD, before the, all of this, uh, yeah, before Betamax. Betamax. Well, what was Betamax? First, that uh, that uh, well, what the first to see uh, how the para ver videos eran unos cassettes enormes, así grandotes que se le ponían. Like the VHS. Tipo el VH. Pero es más viejo todavía el Betamax. Eh, de oh, tomar primero. Betamax. Max. Ok. And then y you got VHS. La, la entrada de antena del televisor. Porque antes los televisores se conectaban con una antenita. Yes, the one you moved. <laughs> Ajá. Uh -huh. When it goes when moving the antenna. <laughs> yes, ah. exactly. And you were screaming from outside. <laughs> one of the friends. <laughs> <The electrophone. laughs> but oh but i didn't know about betamax so good to know okay guys so thank you for sharing your knowledge and your experiences on that give me just a sec let's go back for a moment and let's finish discussing a couple of them so hold on uh, peria creo que se dice toner toner let me yeah i'm i'm trying to look for the part but no me convence Google, so <laughs> I'm going to check that out. Thank you so much. Good evening. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hello, hello. Hello. Place your readings again, teacher. How you doing? So we're just talking about all things like all appliances, all electronics, um, probably some all drinks, uh, right? That we have back in school. Um, you already mentioned the balco and uh, there was something very peculiar about them, etc., etc. Uh, guys, I want to focus in this part because I think everybody was super fun uh, or super fun of gloopies, fruitsies, chickies, and all of them. Um, so I got a question for you. Have you seen recently gloopies? Has anybody seen gloopies recently? Mm, no teacher. No. We, we need to search to search. Yeah, to like, <laughs> like the volleys you mentioned, right? Yeah, that, yes. that was so true. <laughs> what about fruits, guys? Uh, do they ex still exist? Um, it's not. It's it's, a, it's the same, the same design of the book of the bottles, mm -hmm. but another name, I think. Oh, okay. So, mm -hmm. uh, so that is a really good thing. Um, so obviously, uh, for example, the black and white TV disappeared and now you have LED or you have flat screen, right? So we have, yeah. let's write it here. 
So instead of black and white, now you have flat screen, a smart TV, what else? I have a smart TV. So it's like a mm -hmm. it's like a computer because you you can browse browse as mm -hmm. Browse, yes. Yes, yes, you can browse in the internet, you can you can install a different different apps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, they are yeah. super useful really. So Glupis, yes. you say that they disappear, cassettes disappear, right? Uh, yeah, because... Yes, Daniel has a collection of cassettes, but <laughs> uh -huh, they definitely disappeared. Instead of Fruitsi, you said, I think somebody mentioned que hay una uh, marca oh. eh, pajarito, <laughs> like a sort of fake Fruitsi, <laughs> so that is okay. Uh, chiquis, yeah, right? There are yeah, still chiquis. Okay, DVDs, guys. I have DVD. but do people what? use them? I, yeah, I have. I have DVD and use uh, frequently. Oh. So, para, para que no se arruine, lo uso frequentemente. Oh, okay. I have, the I home have, theater I, replaced the, the DVDs. In I, fact, it's a DVD, but with uh, uh, parlantes. Speakers. The speakers. That's I a have, really good point. Uh -huh. I I have my my wedding day in in in, in DVD. <laughs> oh, you had your wedding in yes, DVD. My, my wedding day, yes. <laughs> no, Daniel, ya pase la digital, se le va a rayar. <laughs> You're gonna get some scratches. Va a perder la boda. I, 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 cada <laughs> vez, cada, cada vez, cada, cada, every every time I see. I when when I stay in the in the church, I say you say no, you say no. <laughs> oh, now you are like okay. Now you are trying to convince your wife. No, but, but se le va se le va a rayar, you know. <laughs> so you should get it. Um, we don't have blackberries anymore. Instead of blackberries, guys, what do we have? What are the like the most? What is the trend? What is the trend now? Like, what would be the trend? I iPhone. Have, iPhone, I have a, I have a Samsung. I have a Samsung. iPhone and Samsung. Mm -hmm, yeah. Okay, so iPhone and Samsung, they don't disappear, yes, they change. And instead of bicos, or todavía se usan. Crafts? Todavía existen. Oh, but that is right, that todavía. is right. So they exist, but not the... Uh, um, they are not as famous, probably as I don't know how to write crops in like the, this. Crops? In the in the rural, I'll say, I'll say it not 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 popular in the city, but out the city in the in the countryside. Say, in the countryside, yes, is is very popular. In the countryside. No, mm -hmm. <laughs> no, no, people don't use them anymore. So maybe Great. it's more common for us. Give me one second, guys. Solo voy a cerrar la puerta que está lloviendo super fuerte. Hold on. Okay. Okay, guys, so we have a couple of thingies here. So obviously, a couple of these products have completely changed, and we are going to be talking about that. So let me show you one little conversation we have in your material that is about this, you know, products that have disappeared over the time, products that, don't, uh, that no longer exist, uh, for example, we don't have glucose anymore. We don't have turf anymore. You mentioned bolis, so we don't have them anymore. Um, what else did you say? I think you mentioned more products that have disappeared already. Jimmy Pop, 
if not, he disappeared. So Delhi Pop, he definitely disappeared. And we have more, right? Now, uh, what are the latest products, guys? ¿Qué es lo último que han probado? That you say, oh, this is new, this is cool. I like this instead. Talking about snacks, churritos, and cookies. Have you tasted Takis? Are you into a spicy I don't things? like that. No, you're killing me. <laughs> really? You don't, nobody likes Takis, guys. You don't like a spicy things? Oh, my God. Okay. So, um, Actually, in my case, I like spicy food, but uh, Takis, I like too much condimentos. Mm -hmm. And, and I don't like it really. Oh no! Okay, because, okay. Because much uh, spicy. That is with flavor of pizza. Yes, it is. is oh. it are you not no. cooking? No. Uh, no. Takis are like they have a lot of uh, spices, uh, mm -hmm. and it is super hot. It is like super mm. super hot. So uh, it is like a super... nacho, but hotter than a nacho. Uh -huh. So One friend of mine prepared some of them and, and he put some uh, chimol and Jalisco, Chile. Por Dios. No, Chile mm -hmm. no me gusta. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't like it. <laughs> okay. He loves, but only can, she only can eat uh, some five or six of them. And the stomach of her is hard <laughs> burn. <laughs> and you remember in the, in the you and you remember the next day when you go to the yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, bad for the nails. It's not only that, but you get <laughs> really bad for the nails. Well, yeah, I mean it's it's just horrible. So here we have like good for memory. Here. <laughs> so here we have a very common conversation regarding this. It says Gina and Nelson are talking about green tortricas, a new product that has been introduced to the market. So let's take a look at this little conversation. Um, tell me, please, can you help me with Gina? And uh, Christian, can you help me with Nelson's part, please? Me, teacher. Yes, please. Okay. Uh, can you hear me? Uh, yes, we can okay. hear you. Okay. <laughs> Have you tried the new green tortricas? <laughs> What's that? It sounds like tortillas. They actually call chips with avocado flavor. Um, they sound delicious. Where did you get them? They're not everywhere. Just only low price. Market sells them at the moment. Oh, let's buy some. I want to try green tortillas. Tortricas. Yeah, thank you so much. I think that is the one. And yeah, they sound like tortillas or tortillas, right? Um, <laughs> so like corn chip, torti chip, torti, and a lot of those things. So um, here we have something very interesting. Um, they are asking about new products. They are asking about flavor. Um, so it says, for example, here that they are actually corn chips with avocado flavor. So they are talking a little bit about flavor. Um, guys, we are going to go over a little conversation, but we are going to try to introduce or talk about some flavors too. Um, so when we are talking about flavors, can you give me some of the most common flavors that we get from food? Cheese. Sweet cheese. Can you spell that for me, please? T H E E S E. 
Queso, Miss. It's a kind of cola? I don't know, guys. <laughs> I think this one, Mystery Fanta. Yeah. I, I don't, Fanta. I am not sure. The, the flavor of Mystery Fanta is a mix of Coca-Cola, Fanta, and Naranja. <laughs> I'm in, super in, honest. Yo le sentí sabor a grape. <laughs> So I don't know, uh, but you can tell us what the flavor is. Uh, anything else? ¿Qué otro producto es nuevo? Any, anything else that you can describe? Uh, for December, uh, the Texas Blue. 
Por diciembre, oh. para diciembre sacan la pizza y Okay, so if you're Pepsi, it's, it's nice, yes. Talking about cookies, guys, what are your favorite cookies or your favorite chips? Or any other product that you like that is not very common? Uh, um, maybe the in the the product of Diana have has a prickly like a tortilla with like a beans prickly yes. size. Yes. Prickly. Yes. Prickly. Yes. Prickly. Prickly chips. Prickly chips. Yes. Any anything else that we are missing? What about cookies? Which are the new cookies? No idea. You don't really eat cookies? No yes, snacks? I, 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 yes, I cook. I, 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 I eat cookies. I Diana cookies. Uh, little cookies. Oreo. Ah, Oreo. Okay. Yes, Oreo. It's very common. Oreo with okay. milk. Oh, it's a great. Audio and milk, okay. Or guys, we are Salvadorian, so we can talk about different pupusas flavors. <laughs> um, oh. So we have, for example, these, um, oh my God, I don't know how to say that because I don't think that is a word in English, but I have papelillo. heard about, yes, papelillo pupusas, <laughs> papelillo. Yeah. Uh, I don't even know how to write it. So I think it would be like this. Uh, Papelillo pupusas and the other one, mora pupusas, you know, mora, um, and Loroco. cochinito pupusas. Have you tasted those? Mm. Are they good? Yes, that cochinita. one. Pineapple. Delicious. Pineapple no. pupusas. Ah, but pineapple pupusas is good. I like it. it is pineapple like... pizza. Pineapple pizza. Oh, okay. <laughs> like the Hawaiian one. Okay. Hawaiian, so, yes. Hawaiian guys, pizza. we Hawaiian do pupusa. something. <laughs> like the Hawaiian, but that Hawaiian pupusa is good. I tasted that one in San Vicente, but that was good. That was all right. So guys, vamos Wait. a hacer una conversación. We're going to make a very similar conversation uh, like this one. So have you tried, in vez de try, because we are talking about food, we can use the word, have you tasted, right? Have you tasted, have you eaten, have you tried? and different kind of food. Um, and here we have to find guys like a definition. For example, if I want to ask about Mr. Defanta, um, so have you tried the Mr. Defanta? So como la definiría? Uh, the person here, for example, the green tortica says they are actually corn chips with avocado flavor. But how would you describe a frijolí? Or how would you describe what papelillo is, guys? So, buscamos un producto, let's look for a product. Pueden ser de esos mismos, you can use these ones. Let's use the conversation here and let's create a very similar conversation. Intentemos um, describir, try to describe what this new product is. Uh, so give me just a moment. I'm going to invite you guys to go to the groups. Let's create a super short conversation and then we come back and we'll present it. So, pueden usar el ejemplo. You can use the example. Pero no repetirlo, right? Just as reference. Um, so, guys, I'll give you five minutes. No lo escriban. It is not necessary. Just try to modify it. Try to follow it. But don't write it. Let's go, guys. We have five minutes. So vamos a los grupos, please. Let's join the groups, guys. Five minutes.
Meet. I was in another group. Uh, hello. Yes, I know. Uh, and I'm sorry. La, la traje para acá, Miss. Uh, para que pueda practicar a little <laughs> bit with Adolfo. Adolfo, usted no se escucha. Eh, leí por ahí que estaba teniendo, eh, que la lluvia estaba fuerte también. Adolfo. Pero me dijo que tenía bastantes problemas con el internet. Ok, so, give me one sec. Oh, what's going on? Adolfo no se escucha. Yo creo que no nos escucha. Okay, Miss. Uh, so, mientras solucionamos, give me one moment. I'm going to send you back. La voy a regresar al grupo para que pueda practicar con los chicos. No worries. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hi, Rafael. Hello. How do you say um, suero? The, the, Salin solution? I'm going to write Salin, it in the sorry. chat. Salin okay. uh, solution. So, um, esa Salim es la forma solution. como yo la conozco, but no sé si encontraron otra forma, guys. So probably hay varias mm, formas yeah. de llamarlo. Cero vi por ahí, pero no sé. Algo así. A serum? Ok. Cero. Mm -hmm. uh, um, electrolyte hydration. This is solution, rehydration. Yeah, porque, por ejemplo, los electrolytes, so se llama saline, saline solution rehydration. A rehydration. So, yeah, it sounds like saline solution. Electrolyte, saline solution, rehydration. Uh -huh. Yeah, saline solution. Okay. Serum. Serum. But the serum is más como un suero, pero como para la piel, you know, para uh, las arrugas, I would say. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh, yeah, so, no, no. Uh -huh, yeah, but, uh -huh. but no necesariamente hidratante, right? So, puede depender uh -huh. del, del ambiente, del contexto en el que lo que estamos. Uh -huh. Okay. Tienen también aquí a, a Christian, so no sé si el internet de Christian es bad sí, sí. o eh, podemos incluirlo también dentro de la conversación. We can include him in the conversation as yes. well. Ok. Hello, Christian. Christian, you're mute. Se escucha. You're mute. Uh, Tiene apagado el, el micrófono. Ah, perdón. There you go. <laughs> Desde hace rato lo vi hablando, pero es like, es hablando con nosotros o nada. <laughs> no worries, no worries. <laughs> per, perdón, se me fue el internet, así que. No worries. Ahorita me acabo de reconectar y. 
That's me fine. estoy perdidito. No, I no know. worries. So, vamos a, a crear esta conversación con los chicos y lo, ellos lo van a incorporar dentro de la conversación. And, and that's fine, para que podamos practicar. No worries. No se preocupen. Ok, Cristian le preguntaba a, a Margarita en Javi. Of Apulo. Ajá. Or Ilopango. O oh, Ilopango, el lago de Ilopango. Ajá. Ok. Entonces sería, have you tried the famous little fish of Ilopango? Ajá. Entonces usted me da las características. Ajá. Yes, I have eaten eh, ejotes. It's, it's the name. They receive in the place. The green, bean, the green beans. Green beans. Yes. O sea, pero como en realidad green beans ya sería aplicado más a la, al, al, al ejote en sí, ¿verdad? Ah, yes. Yeah. Creo okay. que valdría la pena mejor decir ejotes porque es el nombre que se le ¿Cómo? da al pescadito en sí. Mm, ok. Pienso yo. Ajá, sí le dicen ejote. Y es un pescadito. Wait. Es, es, un, es un pescado, le, le estaba comentando a Judy, Ajá. es un pescado que venden en Ilopango, en el lago de Ilopango, y yo creo que es el único lugar donde lo venden. Y son unos pescaditos así delgaditos, como que son eh, jotillos. Son así delgados, largos, But tienen weird. aproximadamente unos 10 centímetros. Oh. Y van totalmente fritos tronaditos completitos, usted se lo come enterito el pescadito, but pero son más delgados here. quizás que, que un dedo. Oh, but we are not uh -huh. talking about the famous, uh, uh, um, uh, how do you call it? <laughs> yes, yes, no, we're not no, talking no. about pepesca. No, 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 este eh, es a little bigger than pepesca. Ah, uh, yes. and you call uh, it uh, ejotes. Almost 10, 10 centimeters. Oh, and you normally call them like ejotes. Ajá. Uh -huh. That's the name they give in the place. Yeah, no. Entonces usemos la palabra ejotes because es como el nickname, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. pues por eso aclaramos ahí. Podríamos. Uh -huh. Es un, un pescado pequeño, frito. Mm -hmm. Oh, I like that. Okay. That uh -huh. is new como, for como me. Aclarando. Yes, como yes. Aclarando. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh. <laughs> Mi gatita le tiene miedo a la lluvia y se me ha venido a poner aquí a la par. Oh, es que está lloviendo, pero fuertísimo, you know, la like, es super, super strong here. But, no sé si es que en toda la zona o es una onda tropical. Sí, está en but... todos lados. Yo, a mí me agarró en el camino y estuve varado eh, allá por Cojutepeque. Wow. Que me metí a un lugar y no me animaba ni a salir. Es que estaba Ajá. lloviendo horrible, horrible, pero exagerado. Ya, pero en... Está en San Salvador, ¿verdad? Ahí es. Sí, es todo. Sí. Hasta cojute, no le digo, pues sí. No, pero a mí la libertad, y tiene quizás unas dos Ajá. horas de estar lloviendo, pero. Y no para. You know, Ajá, like a lot. Bueno, sí se detuvo un ratito, pero en lo que íbamos para abajo, porque nos pasamos a comer unos chicharroncitos ahí, que hay un lugar donde venden. Y, digo, ¿qué pasa, ¿verdad? y cuando en lo que pagamos se vino otra vez el agua. Oh, no, pero, pero horrible, no. increíble. Nos tuvieron que bajar las cortinas del lugar porque se estaba metiendo el agua. Y como estábamos así como en una segunda planta. Híjole. Exagerado. Y ahorita que venía de camino, yo casi no veía la calle. Ya, yeah, I mean, es que sí está fuerte. I mean, I just sí. went out para cerrar la, la puerta porque estaba like super noisy here. Pero estaba lloviendo horrible, eso vamos la No sé si por allá se huyeron truenos, porque allá nos cayeron uno prácticamente a la par de donde estábamos. Ay. Y fue horrible, nos hizo pegar un brinco como de dos metros en la silla. No, no, no yet, no yet, pero sí, sí es probablemente es eléctrica, Dan. So, sí, bueno, por lo menos al principio. Esperemos que no haya, you know, mayor cosa como lo que ha habido, sí. de floatings and everything. Sí, sí, eso es lo que da miedo, sobre mm -hmm. todo yes. las personas que viven en lugares así, aledaños a montañas que están propensas a eso. Yes, exactly. So, pero... Santana, aquí estamos de fiesta. Ay, las fiestas Julias. Judy, cuéntenos, ya fue Ay, la rueda. Es de Santana, ¿verdad? Yes. Ya fue la rueda, mis. 
Yes, uh, but. Ah, no me gustó. <laughs> I don't like. Why? Demasiado lleno. Really? Y caminar que podía, sí. Hay demasiada gente there. Like too many people. Sí, esas piedras ah, siempre sí. se llenan. Pero ahora es peor. Uh -huh. Wow. Y eso que viene la fiebre del mono, en all those things, en COVID, en imagine. Oh, yes. Wow. Mm. Okay. Okay, guys. Los dejo practicar un momentito. We have like two more minutes and then we'll okay. go back. Okay. So you can finish Thanks. practicing there. Welcome. Okay. See you. Okay, good. Okay, and um okay, so I will I'm sorry, go I... ahead. <laughs> I will taste uh, the next Weekend. The next weekend. Oh, very cool. <laughs> okay. Finish. I will say the next weekend. Only the other. Sí, 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 solo eso. Sí, sí. Only. Si quieren lo practicamos para que no se nos olvide. Ok. All right, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. Uh, creo que algunos están teniendo dificultades con la lluvia, you know, and the internet is hurting you a lot. So um, no worries. We are going to be presenting this little conversation by tomorrow. Eh, guys, solo antes de irnos, eh, dos cositas. La primera es eh, vamos a pasar siempre asistencia, you know. And para eso sí les pedimos eh, nos ayuden con sus camaritas. And les tengo una tarea súper cortita para el día de mañana. Vamos a revisar vocabulary. And uh, para estas palabras, algunas son nuevas. Solo les voy a pedir que utilicemos the dictionary. Um, no Google Translator, porque nos va a confundir más, pero sí podemos usar uh, cualquier diccionario, you know. So it says put a check next to the words that are new for you. Primero, identifiquemos las palabras que no conocen. We have appeal, take off, growth, demand, differentiate, buy out, discontinue, feature, withdraw, and saturation. Algunas de estas son fáciles de identificar porque se parecen en español, but las que son nuevas para ustedes, please, busquemoslas en el diccionario y busquemos un ejemplo how to use them. Eh, están en su material. They are in your material too. Les pueden tomar una picture, right? Um, or la buscan en su material también. Están las primeras páginas of your material. So, um, para que el día de mañana, you know, uh, 
ya vamos a utilizarlas y uh, tengan una idea previa de qué significa. Um, adicionalmente a ello, recordemos que siempre podemos trabajar y entrar a la plataforma si ya tienen acceso en the, para la semana número uno, es decir, para el día viernes debemos de completar la sección número uno. Si pueden hacerlo antes, pues no hay ningún problema. That would be even better. Um, solo, guys, me ayudan con su camarita un momento. Les voy a tomar asistencia. And, uh, me regalen confirmación verbal, please. Que estamos acá para propósitos de grabación de clase. So, uh, Adolfo Barrios. Me regala solo confirmación, please, Adolfo, para que nos quede grabado. No worries. Uh, Andrea. Present, Miss. Thank you. Carlos. Acaba de estar Carlos ahí. Eh, Christian. I'm here. Thank you. Uh, Delmi. Present, teacher. Present. Perdón, no podía desbloquear el micrófono. No se preocupe. Thank you so much, Carlos. Helen. I'm here, teacher. Yes, I know. Thank you so much. Imelda nos falta. Iris. Present. Hey, Miss. Thank you, Miss. No la escuché ahora. <laughs> Mañana quiere escucharla el doble, Miss. No, thank you, Miss. Gracias por acompañarnos. Eh, Arnaldo. Arnaldo sí estaba acá. Present. Thank you so much, Kenya. Eh, escuché Kenya too. Angelica. Present. Thank you so much, Gaby. Present. Thank you, Noemi. I'm here. Thank you, Rafael. Present. Thank you, Rafa. Eh, Margarita. Present, teacher. Thank you so much, Judy. Here, teacher. Thank you, and Daniel. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Me faltó alguien, guys? No, verdad. I mentioned everybody. Ok, uh, so guys, uh, recordemos la tarea del vocabulario. Si las conocen todas, no hay problema, no homework. But si alguna de ellas es nueva, please, revisemos antes de la clase qué significa. And, uh, si no se han agregado al grupo, agreguémonos, please, al grupo también. Eh, Adolfo, solo si me puede regalar un par de minutitos. Eh, ahorita se lo agradecería enormemente. Los demás, guys, estamos dismissed. Have a very good night. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Antes que se vayan, guys, el módulo anterior de compartirlo de la picture, I'm sorry así que ahora sí se las comparto eh, Kenia, se me puede dar un momentito con la cámara, Gaby, Iris if you can activate your camera just a moment that would be nice <laughs> thank, I'm sorry ya se había ido a dormir, I think <laughs> ok guys so, there you go thank you so much guys ahora sí I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Good night, Have a good night. Bye bye. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Adolfo, solo me regala un momentito, please. Give me just a moment. And da 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 da. Wait. Okay, solo eh, creo que me ha quedado alguien acá. Dame un segundito. Ok, there we go. Gracias Adolfo por, por quedarse, por regalarme un par de minutitos. Le comento eh, por qué le solicité que se quedara. Eh, al final de la clase, eh, nosotros tenemos la política de brindarle un par de minutitos adicionales de forma individual a nuestros participantes, you know, eh, para saber cómo... Eh, Gracias, mañana si trataré de resolver esto. Eh, ¿El qué, Adolfo? Dígame. Hola, hola. Hola, hola. ¿Me, me logré escuchar? Sí, claro. Eh, trataré de ponerme al día. Voy a leer las, las indicaciones eh, y trataré de resolver el problema de mis audífonos. Oh, bueno, well, yo creo que, que no tuvimos mayor dificultad. ¿Usted me escucha bien? Uh, sí. ¿O se está quebrando un Ahora poco? Ahora mismo sí. 
yo creería que es por la lluvia, you know, uh, o por el internet. Aquí no ha se sido preocupe. muy fuerte. Acá también, you know, no se preocupe, eso, eso son cuestiones Exacto. que se nos salen de las manos. Le comentaba que por lo general nosotros brindamos eh, como minutos adicionales a cada uno de los participantes uh, para ver si tienen, qué necesidades tienen, you know, en qué les podemos colaborar. ¿Cuál es el objetivo de estudiar inglés? You know? Para también de esa forma modificar nuestras clases y hacerlas un poco orientadas a ustedes. Um, Adolfo, ¿cuál es, el, ¿cuál es la necesidad más grande que usted siente con inglés? ¿O cuál es la dificultad que siente? Um, um, ahora lo estuve escuchando y siento que se comunica bastante bien. So you communicate ideas. Eh, pero por ahí escuché pues, tal vez un par de de palabritas que se le habían olvidado, ¿verdad? Pero eso con el tiempo lo vamos a lograr. Um, es correcto. ¿Usted cómo, cómo se siente o cuál siente que, que, que es lo que le cuesta más? ¿Hablarlo, escucharlo, escribirlo? ¿Cuál es Hablarlo, el objetivo? Leerlo y escribirlo, pues, me va un poco mejor. Mm -hmm. eh, pero el listening, eh, el speech, es el que me hace falta mejorar. Oh, ok. Uh, ¿Cuál es el objetivo de estudiar inglés uh, for you, Adolfo? Eh, ¿Se lo piden en el trabajo o porque usted quiere, quiere comunicarse? Mm, siempre, lo he visto con, siempre lo he visto como una herramienta importante. Ok. Y, y parte de mi superación profesional, pues, está perfeccionarlo o crecer un poco en inglés. Oh, ok. I'm glad to hear that. Qué bueno escuchar eso. Ok, sí. ok, super cool. So, listening and speaking. Cuando me dice speaking, por ejemplo, uh, ¿qué parte es lo que le cuesta? ¿Ordenar sus ideas o por el vocabulario? ¿Siente que su no, vocabulario prácticamente, es primer? Prácticamente ordenar mis ideas. Uh -huh. Yo estoy invirtiendo mucho tiempo en, en listening, en programas en YouTube. Okay. Eh, donde hay un uh, pronunciation eh, excelente. Okay. Estoy tratando de afinar mucho el oído para, para mejorar esa parte. Ok. ¿Qué tipo de, de videos ve en YouTube para practicar listening? ¿Ve Ahora gramática mismo, o ve uh, alguien ya hablando de cualquier cosa en inglés? Eh, conversation, pero de diferentes topics. De okay. top, mejor dicho, de tópicos muy específicos. Uh, for example? Uh, una rutina, un día en Estados Unidos, un día en agricultura. Okay. Porque mi profesión es, es, es agrícola. Uh, are you a farmer? Or are you an um, engineer? No, I am engineer of oh. agriculture. Ah, super yeah. cool. Okay. Yeah. Super, super cool. All right. Um, so And I guess. my last job. Uh -huh. uh, tell me, tell me, tell you me. Guess? Sorry. No, no, no. Um, the thing is that I was going to say that I guess uh, you are more interested into technical vocabulary. Yes, I I, I drive some some word or so many words. Yeah. But are, are you interested like in your occupation in agriculture or everyday communication? Yeah. Because at some point, algunas veces, nuestro vocabulario técnico se vuelve más fácil because es lo que hacemos todos los días. But exactly. cuando me dice speaking, eh, se refiere a ese vocabulario técnico or simplemente organizar cualquier idea, uh, contar el día a día, you know, a past. Yeah. ¿Cuál es la, la de las dos Neces que le cuesta más? Nece necesito aprender el día a día. Recordar okay. mucho de lo que aprendí hace años del día a día. Ok, perfecto. Entonces vamos a hacer un pequeño cambio eh, de, con respecto a lo que hacemos de listening exercise. Uh, los tutoriales son muy buenos, you know, uh, they are super good, but nuestro listening tiene que ir uh, haciendo como pasitos de bebé, especialmente porque se tiene que empezar a recordarse lo que ya se le olvidó, lo que, you know, porque obviamente después de seis meses de no practicar algo, es normal que se nos vaya a olvidar. Entonces, um, do me a big favor. Ya está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Are you in the WhatsApp group? Ahora mismo no le escuché nada. Ok, uh, está en el grupo de WhatsApp. Ya se unió al grupo. Tampoco, está lloviendo demasiado fuerte. 
Ok, se lo escribo. Uh, ok. Acá, acá se lo voy a escribir en el chat. So, uh, are you in the WhatsApp group? So, are, are you in the WhatsApp group? Adolfo Barrios. Hi. So, uh, si está en el grupo. Uh, maybe not. Okay. Okay, so... Uh, me logra escuchar, can you hear me? Uh, ok, uh, so, Adolfo, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Eh, le voy a enviar un ejercicio, right, uh, al grupo, a su WhatsApp, le dicen an exercise, y vamos a empezar a trabajar con este. Le recomiendo mucho okay. que comience a escuchar videos eh, de animaciones, you know, o película de niños, o los famosos cartoons, las películas o los, um, los, ¿cómo le llamamos? Dibujos animados. Ellos son muy buenos para empezar a trabajar listening. En, vamos a hacer este ejercicio this way. Le mando el ejercicio, es cortito, y necesito que todo lo que ellos dicen, usted lo vaya escribiendo. Um, yo sé que you, um, YouTube tiene subtítulos, pero no le ponga subtítulos, no le ponga nada, sino que intente hacerlo a puro oído, you know, lo que logre entender, y le, le toma foto, le toma captura y me lo envía. So, okay. veamos cómo nos va con este, y si no, pues inventamos o vemos qué otro ejercicio utilizamos, ¿ok? Ya se lo envío. So, I will send it to you in a couple yes. of minutes. Okay. Gracias, Adolfo, por el tiempo. Thank you so much. And uh, en un par de minutos le envío el ejercicio. All right. Que tenga una buena noche. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs> see you, see you.